Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading where we're gonna look at what's going on in your connection, how do you feel about each other, and basically what the energies are between you at this time. Keep in mind that these readings are general. So let's jump into the reading for Leo. Spirit Angels Guide. Messages for Leo regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Leo? Regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. Okay, so we'll look at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. So what's going on in your connection right now, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Knight of Cups, okay? On your side, we have the Four of Cups and the Sun, and on their side, we have the Ace of Wands and the Tower. Wow, okay. Bottom of the deck and overall energy is the Fool. So something completely new happening here, Leo. Um, someone taking a risk or a leap of faith, you know, make, making something happen or, oh, sorry, my dog Henry tried to get on the bed and did not succeed. Um, someone taking some sort of leap of faith into a new beginning or a risk, um, a new beginning happening in your connection, et cetera, et cetera. We'll see if that comes up again in your reading. Let's get some energies here as well. Some energies for Leo. Angels, guys, what do we need to know? For Leo, what do we need to know? For Leo. What's going on in this connection? Let me put that by because that was a sloppy shuffle. What's going on in this connection? For Leo and the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know for Leo? Loyal, faithful, and dependable. We need to know about this guy. And a love letter, a message is on its way. So I think that someone has been loyal to you even after time has passed. Let's see what else we got. Get the stellar guidance deck. What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? For Leo, what else do we need to know? Beyond this other person. Aben uh, we got abundance, number 38. And half faith, number 9. Here we go. So I feel like someone has faith even after time has passed. There's still hope for something to be fulfilling, abundant in your connection. So we will see what all of this is about. Bottom of the deck is fall, like the season. So something could be happening around that time. Maybe this will take a little bit of time to develop. Um, we'll see what's going on. I'm also getting like seasons changing with fall. So things changing. Um, let's, let's get some clarity here. For Leo, what do we need to know? Now your person has the tower, so definitely the tower changes things. And right next to the tower, the Ace of Wands. So some sort of new beginning, that theme of a new beginning. So there's something definitely I feel that will make you very happy. You have the sun on your side. But with the Four of Cups, I'm getting almost like, like I don't think you're going to really see this coming. Um, the traditional card in the tarot, the Four of Cups, they can't see the cup in front of them. They're focused on something else. So we'll see what that's all about when we get to your energies. But for now, let's look at what's going on up here. We have the Hangman, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Well, tell me about the Hangman, because that's telling me that maybe some, that's why things are taking some, you know, slow to develop, things taking longer. The Hangman, it doesn't really take action. They just do a lot of thinking. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Seven of cups. Yeah, someone's uh, thinking about their options, their choices here. Tell me more about the hangman. What's this hangman energy about? 
four of wands okay tell me about the three of pentacles collaborating working together group of three here with the three of pentacles but really it's about teamwork building a foundation working on something why is the three of pentacles here knight of pentacles okay three of wands yeah see this is taking some time to develop especially the knight of pentacles they take some time to like deliver their um pentacle to someone tell me about the knight of cups move this over here tell me about the knight of cups why is the knight of cups here nine of swords ten of wands okay tell me about the knight of cups three of pentacles again I get one more for the knight of cups two of swords some of you could be dealing with uh, an aries if you are you should check out that reading okay get one more for the knight of cups The devil capricorn energy knight of wands i think someone's apologizing here with this knight of cups wanting to build another foundation wanting to address whatever baggage or situations happening here with the ten of wands i think they're worried about being rejected capricorn energy with the devil but I don't I think they're still gonna go for it with the Knight of Wands and here the tower with the Ace of Wands so maybe there's something surprising about this let's see let's jump into your energies let's see what's going on because there's definitely a message coming in so I have a feeling that you know maybe you're not expecting a message from this person or you weren't expecting to hear what you're hearing because they have the tower we get some insight for Leo and this other person. Tell me about Leo. Leo, I have you on one side, your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. I'm taking a risk. Okay, tell me about the person. You are my soulmate. I want to get one more for this person. I wasn't honest with you. I feel like there's definitely apology coming in. What else do we need to know for Leo? Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Oh yeah, this person definitely wants to talk to you. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I think this person is going to open up to you in a big way and I don't think you're expecting it. That's the energy I'm picking up so far here. What else? Hopefully you can't hear my handyman talking outside in the background because I... Hope the mic isn't picking that up. <clears throat> what else? What else? What else do we need to know? Change number nine. Yeah, there's some. This person wants to change the state of your connection. Yeah, and they're working on things. Occupation. Um, they're working on how to bring this about or how to make this happen. You are my soulmate. I wasn't honest with you. I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't know. I feel like this person is going to surprise you. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a good surprise, <laughs> but I just don't, I just, I, I just get this energy of you not really expecting this. Get some clarity for you. Tell me about the Four of Cups. 
Why is the Four of Cups here? Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. Page of Cups. Okay, tell me about the Sun. I think some of you might not be interested in this apology or you don't know what to make of it. Maybe that's why the Four of Cups is here. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? King of Pentacles. Why is the sun here? Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I think, yeah. I feel like when this, if you know, when this person comes forward with whatever message this is, I think that a lot of you are going to want to see the effort first before you even consider uh, taking them seriously. Maybe this person has made promises in the past or has used words in the past and they didn't really deliver because I get the distinct energy here of you not giving in until you see actual effort. The words are great, but that's not enough here. Tell me about the tower. Six of cups. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Two of wands. Tell me about the ace of wands. What's this Ace of Wands about? What's the Ace of Wands here? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, I feel like this person's gonna tell you like, I am serious about you, I wanna commit to you. Yeah, the star. Let's heal this, Aquarius energy. Let's have a new beginning, let's start over. Because you are my soulmate. Very clear energy, there's the Hermit. I think this person has been apart from you or away from you or ha doesn't have access to you perhaps with the hermit. The hermit is alone, solitary, withdrawn. Maybe they see you as a hermit energy, someone that's kind of like doing their own thing right now. It's interesting though because I feel like this person, it's like they expect you to want to see some sort of like... I don't know. It's it's like they know they have to prove themselves to you. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles with the Three of Wands and the Seven of Cups up there with the Two of Wands down there on your person side in the tower. Um, it's going to take time for them to prove themselves. You know, like, are you, if, like, if someone were to tell you, like, I'm going to commit to you and only you, I'm, I'm loyal to you, Leo, and only you, you're going to be like, great, but I can only see that with time, you know? Let me get one more for this tower. Maybe this person makes a choice that surprises you or that causes a big shakeup in their life. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. This is connected to a new beginning. It's like burning something down to have something new. And, you know, the High Priestess and the Knight of Wands. I think this is going to take you by surprise. Didn't you have a reading recently? I don't remember when it was. It would, okay, so in how, the, how they feel of, um, of February is like a confession or a reveal and the February you and them the title was something like it's shocking coming from them because there's something that they're gonna do that you are not expecting or you, or for whatever reason they're being very different um, or coming to you with different energy um, making promises serious promises taking risks you know to, to change things and so I feel like you're you're thinking about this you're pondering the possibility of 
things changing or things being different with this person. A new start with the fool. Whole new beginning here. Ace of Wands. This is coming from them. Um, I feel like this is someone that wants to prove themselves to you, prove that they are loyal to you, that you are the one for them. But for some reason, Leo, I get the sense that this might make you very happy, but you're very hesitant at the same time. You just don't know how to take what they're saying, or you don't know if you can take them at face value, or if you could believe what they're saying. It's like you have doubts about their intentions or whatever it is that they're doing. So we'll definitely, definitely look at their intentions and the extended. And I'm also going to look at where is all of this headed next in the near future. I think a message is on its way. I think an apology is on its way. Um, I feel like this person maybe has been blocked or um, stuck somewhere in a, in a difficult situation, perhaps, or doing things they shouldn't have been doing. But I feel like they're coming out of that or have been working to get out of that. Yeah, because they want, yeah, there's a death card. They're going to, they're going to have, they're going to make a change in their life. And this change is surprising to you. It makes you think of them differently. So I'm going to look at what's happening next here um, for your connection and what your person's intentions towards you are, what their next actions will be towards you. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.